Imperial Navy. Hello everyone and welcome to Fort Master's vlog for the Warhammer 5000 gaming system here at the Games Workshop based in the UK. And welcome to episode 4 of this year's Battlefleet Gothic Season 1. Today I'm taking a closer look at my Retribution class battleship. It's a torpedo boat used by the Imperial Navy and Basilicon Astra. This ship would eventually be captained by Admiral Spire. He started out as a captain in the early stages of the 12th Black Crusade, also known as the Gothic War. He would prove his loyalty and eventually be promoted to Admiral, leading the forces under Lord Admiral Cornelius von Ravensburg. He would prove his value during the war and following the victories at Getzemann and Schindelgeist, Abaddon was driven away from the Gothic sector, but not without a loss as he stole two Blackstone fortresses and destroyed the rest. Spire would hunt Abaddon through the Immaterium, eventually get lost for over 800 years, only to reappear following the 13th Black Crusade that saw the destruction of Cadia and split the Imperium in two due to the Great Rift. Now bearing the rank of Lord Admiral, he must muster the fleets around the areas to fight back at Abaddon. The lore of him from here becomes a little fussy, as it would go in a direction that I would not consider to be canon at the moment, or never will be canon. It would start out with the fact that he, together with his fleets, manages to kill four of the chosen warlords of Abaddon. Then he would end the threat of the orcs in the Scarus sector, following that by eradicating the Tyranid High Fleets. He would then forge an alliance with the Eldar that is united under the Unari Fraction. Then he would be reunited with the recently resurrected Primarch Rebuti Gilliman before entering the Eye of Terror and personally kill Abaddon the Despoiler. In the games, he doesn't have a fixed main ship as it can change from during the gameplay, hence why I chose to let this be his ship in my head cannon. The Retribution class battleship is a large vessel used by the Imperial Navy and Basilicon Astra. The class is a true ship of the line, being able to deliver a devastating broadside assault on the enemy, but is also equipped with impressive ordnance capabilities. The Retribution features the distinct armored pro of the Imperial Navy, which allows it to speed head long into the enemy fleet, ignoring all but the heaviest fire brought against it. The ship is also fast as the main cruisers of the Imperial fleet, being able to keep up with them gives them extra support that can be vital in the fleet engagement. One of the more famous ships are the Dawn of Fire, which was the flagship of Rebooty Gilliman during the early Indominus Crusade. So yeah, so that's uh, more or less the, the information we have that's most appropriately for this ship. So I showed you more closely in the painting guide this ship, but uh, yeah, so it's really cool to see it here finally coming up on the channel in its, its prime and glory. It was really fun to do it, but it, it's done in metal, so it's very hard. It's uh, much harder to work with than, the, than with the... Uh, plastic for obvious reasons, and I'm also try. Uh, it's very scared because I had to. Uh, oh, as you see, I had to get some uh, support being underneath here so it can still stand on this uh, plastic thing because otherwise it would just fall over because the hole is too big, and I don't didn't want to fill it with green stuff. Then I thought it was better to fill the the pole with green stuff rather than the other way around. But yeah, so that's more or less everything I had for this episode. It's a bit shorter. There will be a couple of videos, uh, or not videos, there will be some uh, uh, pictures later on to show you what you will see uh, on here. But that's everything for today. Thank you much for watching this. See you around, everybody. Bye bye.